Are you looking for a way to submit a high volume of content in a quick and efficient way? Using a CSV file for your metadata is a great option to consider. Adobe Stock contributors can download a CSV file to import keywords and titles and attach previously uploaded model or property releases. I'm Adobe Stock Contributor Evangelist Matt Hayward, and in this video, I'll show you how to download a sample CSV file, how to input the correct information, and how to upload the file to the contributor portal and apply all the necessary metadata to your submitted content We'll follow that with a quick tip showing you how to submit batches of up to 100 files at a time to expedite the submission process. Let's get started. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've created a brand new unused Adobe Stock Contributor account. Step one to applying your CSV metadata is to upload your content. I've got several videos online showing you different ways to do that. The quickest and easiest way if you're uploading images is to click the upload icon in the upper right hand corner and simply drag and drop your content into this blue upload circle. Now I've already uploaded 28 files that I'm going to apply CSV metadata to. But first let me show you. If you click the upload CSV button right here, you're going to be able to download a sample CSV file which you can use as your baseline to input all of your information for your content. You'll find all the different requirements for CSV including the maximum line limit of a thousand and uh, the file size maximum and all that good stuff. But something really important to keep in mind is this link right here says these categories. If you click this, this button right here you're going to see all the different category options and so you're going to enter a corresponding number to a category in your CSV file. And So we'll come back to that later but I wanted to show you for right now. An important item of note, the CSV files at Adobe Stock need to be case sensitive. And what I mean by that is when you're entering the file name, and so let's take this image here in the upper left hand corner. I've got that selected. If I scroll over, I can see my original file name is Hayward Photo 10418. JPG. Now if you notice, the H in Hayward and the P in Photo are capitalized, and so I need to capitalize those letters in my CSV file, but also the JPG for the file extension are in caps, and so it's important that I put .jpg in caps in my CSV file as well. If I put lowercase letters or a combination, the system won't read that. So it's really important that your titles are case sensitive. Here's a look at my CSV file. To spare you the pain of watching me add titles and keywords one by one for 28 images, I've gone ahead and pre-populated this. You're welcome. Uh, for column A, file name is the category, and so as I expand this, you'll see all the file names, and again, case sensitive. Column B is going to be for the title, and show so concise titles, around 70 characters, it should read like a sentence, not be a list of words. And then column C is going to be your keywords, separated by commas, and so you can enter anywhere between 5 and 50 keywords, 15 to 25 is the sweet spot traditionally. Here in column D is the category I mentioned before, you'll find the list of categories in the CSV upload dialog found in the contributor portal and then the releases section and so uh, you want to type in the release case sensitive exactly the way you have uploaded it to the portal and so I listed Wilma Flintstone it's the model's name isn't actually Wilma Flintstone I'm just protecting her identity for the purpose of this training video but the actual release that's uploaded into the contributor portal does reflect her real information plus you'll see there's one release that's in my name when you uploaded it upload images of yourself the moderation team doesn't know what you look like and so you do need to submit a model release for images of yourself keep in mind if you're planning to submit images or videos that feature recognizable people or property that are going to be accompanied by a model or property release you need to upload those model and property releases into the contributor portal before attaching your CSV file I've got other videos online showing you exactly how to upload those releases if you're not sure if you're using the same release from previous shoots or if you uploaded the releases and you're not sure exactly how you typed the name into the contributor portal, you can confirm that from the upload section of the portal. And so I've got the upper left hand corner image selected. I have indicated that yes, there is a recognizable person in the image, so therefore the release dialog comes up. I'm going to go ahead and hit search for an existing release. And here I'll see all the active releases I have in the contributor portal. And so Wilma Flintstone and Matt Hayward. And so I've confirmed the spelling and I've confirmed that it's entered correctly into the CSV file. So now it's time to go ahead and upload the CSV file. So once again, we're going to go ahead and click the tab near the top that says Upload CSV. 
we'll go ahead and scroll down. We'll find the blue button that says choose a CSV file. You will then browse through your hard drive, find the correct CSV file, select it, click open, upload. The blue wheel is spinning and now you see this green bar at the top that says data from your CSV was applied to the related files, refresh to view changes. And so I will go ahead and click that. And now what you see is that each image has keywords attached, releases when appropriate, and there's a green dot where previously there was a red dot, now there's a green dot. The green dot indicates that this file is ready to go. You've got additional confirmation that the CSV was successfully applied with this green button in the upper right hand corner that says submit 28 files. And so now it's time to go ahead and submit all of these images. So I'll click that button. Here's some final confirmation just showing you all the previews of the images that you have successfully added metadata to with your CSV file. I'm going to go ahead and confirm this by clicking submit. You can now see that the files are in the in review tab, which means they have been sent to the moderation team to take a look at the files. Once approved, they'll be put online in your portfolio and available for sale. As mentioned before, you can submit a CSV file that has up to a thousand lines completed. And so you can upload a thousand images or videos and attach the metadata to all those files in one fell swoop. However, you are limited to submitting images and videos in batches of 100. And so if you have maxed out at a thousand files to submit, you're just going to have to click that submit button 10 times in a row. It's not too big of a deal, but I wanted to give you a heads up. That's all there is to applying your metadata with a CSV file. My name is Matt Hayward. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.